Liver fluke is still one of the most important parasites of livestock in the UK. Livestock pick it up in the summer and autumn while they're grazing, and clinical disease is typically seen over the winter. Sometimes farmers ask a question, can cattle and sheep be infected by liver fluke? from silage. The risks always seem pretty low for a couple of reasons, partly because the number of infectious fluke larvae peaks in the autumn after silage is typically cut, and also wetter, muddier parts of the field where you tend to find most of the fluke aren't often cut for silage. But this has always been an educated guess until some research from the University of Liverpool in 2020 shed some more light on the topic. These researchers devised an experiment where they collected grass they wilted it to three different dry matter contents, that's 20%, 30%, and 40%. They then created experimental mini silos. These different dry matter content samples were then ensiled with infectious liver fluke larvae. They then went back after two, six, and 10 weeks. They resampled each of these silos to see if there were any viable fluke larvae still there. Now, in each of the silos, the 20, 30, and 40% dry matter, by two weeks, there was no viable infectious fluke larvae left. So the researchers came to the conclusion that there is no risk of liver fluke infection from anaerobically fermented silage if fed from two weeks post sealing. But the plot thickens. The researchers repeated the experiment in conditions representative of aerobic spoilage, that is some oxygen gets into the clamp or the bale. They repeated this for the same range of dry matter content, so 20, 30, and 40%. They found that in the 40% clamp, i.e. the driest, that you could find liver fluke larvae up to two weeks post sealing. In the 30% dry matter content, you could find it at two and six weeks post sealing. And in the 20%, i.e. the wettest, they could find viable fluke larvae from two, six, and 10 weeks post sealing. So, the researchers also concluded that liver fluke larvae can remain viable under conditions of aerobic spoilage, especially if the grass is low dry matter content. This research really drives home the fundamentals. Don't feed spoiled silage to livestock. And that thorough wilting and achieving a good seal on a clamp or bale remain important aspects of silage making. That's it for this week. If you enjoyed that, don't be afraid to click subscribe, ring the little bell for notifications about new videos, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.